Two weeks after the Washington Post broke the Roy Moore sexual assault story involving teenage girls, the newspaper has become the target of Moore's conservative allies. Tonight, though, a victory for the Post as it uncovers a plot aimed at undermining its credibility. Never once has this been alleged. Never has any hint been brought about it in the paper. But ever since the Washington Post first reported that in his 30s, Moore sought out sexual relationships with young girls, one only 14, Roy Moore and his supporters have been trying to discredit the paper and his accusers. Monday, the Post reporting that yet another woman came to them, saying Moore had gotten her pregnant and forced her to have an abortion as a teen. But in their vetting of her story, reporters found major holes. That's because the story was fake, part of a sting operation aimed at exposing a supposed liberal bias at the Washington Post. If the paper ran this fake story, its critics could say, couldn't it's all the stories the about Moore be made up? Here, the Washington Post reporter is confronting the fake accuser. I want you to know that this is being uh, recorded and video recorded. So if there's anything you want to say about why you're here and how you came to be sitting here, I I'd really, I'd really would like to know that story as well. In checking the woman's story, the newspaper uncovered that she was hoping to work for a conservative news group. Do you still have an interest in, in working uh, in the conservative media movement to combat the lies and deceit of the liberal MSM? Is that, no. is that still your interest? No, not really. The woman was spotted Monday at the offices of Project Veritas, a conservative-backed outlet known for its shady tactics. Moore, though, sticking to his story. These allegations are completely false. They're malicious. Specifically, I do not know any of these women. Project Veritas has made real news in the past. Its founder was convicted of a misdemeanor in 2010 for using a fake identity to enter a federal building during a previous sting operation.